What is your most disturbing secret? Trigger warning essay. I vaguely remember being molested by an older neighbor boy at my grandparents' house. I was around for and he was nine. He had me lay down and pull up my dress. Then he pulled off my panties and touched me saying he was my daddy. He said all daddies inspected their children like that. I was afraid of getting in trouble, so I never told anyone. Looking back I now know that he must have been getting abused himself. I feel guilty every day for not telling anyone and possibly saving him. I still have issues with sex 34 years later. I hope he's doing alright and has gotten some help. I had at the time my longest relationship of almost two years in when I was almost 20 years old. One about it because this was still new internet cell phone times, and thus no texts or emails of said constant abuse exists, and suddenly no one tends to believe men who say women hit them and stalk them. Twenty plus years later, not much has changed. Only comfort I have is my mother a few years back after a few glasses of wine made a comment about how she knew in her saw. I was sad and tormented. Straight 42 meters married 23 years. Forced to start sucking dick at 8 years old. Crackhead mom was too busy on the nod to notice or care. First one I wanted to suck was 3 years later. Suck 7 dicks throughout the years. Swallowed strangers come off of Craigslist. Wish I could suck some more no strings attached at the same time as wishing I didn't want to suck dick behind the back of the beautiful mother of my child, whom I love dearly. TLDR sex abuse in childhood led to dick sucking fetish. Not even a little bit gay. I was SAD 10 years ago by my XPF. Then he stalked me for seven years. I am much better now even told this secret to a couple of people. But I know that even after therapy it will always be a part of me. Because of him. I don't remember my high school memory loss only five, seven episodes. And in those episodes I am depressed. Having a depression-induced eating disorder. Thinking about killing myself. I will never get those years back. I will never experience first love again all because of this piece of shit. I once had a dream, when I was really young, probably around 8-10 years in which my father committed, if you know what I mean. Instead of feeling sad, I felt the sense of relief in that dream and was actually sad when I woke up. I should clarify that my father used to abuse me both physically and verbally a lot back then. Not to mention, my parents argued and still argue a lot, often physically. I do have a slightly better relationship with my father now but a little bit of that pain is still there. Hey there. It's totally understandable if you have some deep and personal secrets that you're not ready to share. Everyone has things they keep to themselves for various reasons. It's important to remember that you have the right to privacy and should only share what you feel comfortable with. Take your time and only open up when you're ready. And make sure it's with someone you trust and feel safe with. You're not alone in having secrets, and it's okay to keep some things private. Take care of yourself. I was abused mentally, physically and sexually from the age of around 7, 15 years old by one person, who I thought was my best friend during the time. I'm 23 now, and just finally coming around to the realization of everything that happened and why I have so many mental health and trust issues now and I'm talking about it in therapy finally. As far as I know, my abuser is living a comfortable, happy life, and the only person that knows about this is me and my therapist. Not her secret necessarily. At my labia tour into spots near my clip when I gave birth to my son. I had him at home, and my son's dad is and was mentally abusive. I had no support or help and the stitches didn't hold. I was 22 at the time and obviously self-conscious of my vagina already, as most women are, and my ex tormented me by telling me things like my pussy was mangled and ugly. I was in survival mode for so long. It wrecked my self-esteem. Since childhood I often daydream of suicide. The more spectacular, sudden and gory the better. I'll never act on it. But most of the time, it's sheer spite fantasy a common one is me blowing my brains out onto somebody on purpose. Therapy helped a lot. But I still have random family guy cutaways in my head daily.
Some of them even make me laugh out loud sometimes. But I always explain it away as something else. I'm an alcoholic. No one is aware of how bad it's gotten, but I'm drinking to almost blackout daily and going to work ill every single day. I still do my job fine, but the second I'm off it's all I want to do, and I can't stop myself anymore. It's been like this for almost two years now. What I'm doing to myself while acting completely fine, everyone disturbs me. But I'm really struggling to get myself help. I was at my dad's home that he rented out to Alex. A night, I got nudes sended to me and I was so horny I took one of his small pillows jizzed on it and trowed it out the window. And the next morning I searched it found it and tossed it in the garbage. Alex always were wondering where the small pillow is. E um sri Alex. In Japan. Heart surgeon. Number one. Steady hand. One day. Yakuza boss need new heart. I do operation. But mistake Yakuza boss die Yakuza very mad I hide fishing boat. Come to America. No English. No food. No money. Dara give me job. Now I have house, American car and new woman. Daryl save life. My big secret I kill Yakuza boss on purpose. I good surgeon. The best. We hired a caravan and had a bit of a party, but the guy in the next caravan reported us. And they were going to kick us out. Next day they went out and two of us got into his caravan through an open window. I stuck his and his wife's toothbrush up my friend's us and took a picture. And sent it to the address that was on the dude's driving license that was on the countertop. Just once it would be cool to have one of these threads where people actually did pour out their innermost secrets. And then we all had objective, matter-of-fact conversation about the particulars. Instead, no one says anything of any value, and those who do are relentlessly judged despite that going against the very spirit of the post in the first place. I'm sadistic. I think some really dark stuff is sexy. Like, the book Misery by Stephen King is my favourite book because a lot of it is hot to me. I'm also writing a book about prison rape that's pretty graphic. I quote it is. I'm a nice person, and I wouldn't hurt anyone in real life. I just like the idea of men in pain, afraid, and humiliated. My deepest dream is to send everything to hell to be the most beautiful living being on earth. A fucking sexual icon that receives the attention of half the world. I know it's a terrible dream and existing for the purpose of simply being a sexual object is not good at all in a realistic context but I would like to feel pretty and loved. Lines back into drug abuse, and nearly died March 1st, 2023. I had taken three random pills someone gave me, and downed a bottle of tequila, and next thing I knew I was face down on my floor in a puddle of vomit. I should have died that day. I'm related to a serial killer, and I almost had a baby with Charles Mason's cousin. I wound up having an abortion because I didn't want a murder baby. Oh, and a week later I found out the father was a proud P3 do, and I wound up hospitalised BC I tried to kill myself for sleeping with Charles Manson's P3 do cousin. And 13 or 14 years old, my friend's mum would sometimes have her bra hanging in the bathroom I guess to dry. I would rub the inside of the cups over my face because that part had touched her boobs. She was definitely the MILF of our group. Oh, we were not familiar with that word at the time. I remember in my fourth grade tray was an event held by the school and there was a girl who threw boogers in her own drink and drank it in front of the teachers and her others as if this is normal. I remember feeling disgusted for the whole day. Though this is not like a secret, I felt most disgusted at that time. I'm terrified of going into work. LF. I'm a hard worker. But I despise sitting in an office full of people I barely know. Constantly being on. Being evaluated in person and pretending I enjoy not being warm and safe in my cosy home. For some of us the pandemic was a blessing. I dream about killing someone in particular. Be it car accident, violent beating or just straight up positing. That person definitely deserves it for more or less ruining my peace of life and mind. Normally I would seek professional help. But that shit stain ain't worth the time and money.
One time on the holiday I was playing with my fireworks in front of the house wall. I saw a trash can for the neighborhood and guess who put it on fire I still remember the clueless look on their face while trying for half an hour to get a good amount of water to turn the fire off. This isn't my most disturbing but it is very recent, as in happened last night. A close friend's husband kissed me, and I didn't stop him. Woke up today unbelievably hungover, and had a huge panic attack because I couldn't stop thinking about it. The guilt is weighing on me. Not a single person I've met in the last ten years knows anything true about me. Not my name. Not my profession. Not my family life. Not where I'm from, etc. I've created an entirely fake person. And that's who I am to everyone that I meet now. Even my girlfriend. I was like 14 and on a night out with my friend and he gave me a handjob in the middle of the night. He thought I would be sleeping but I woke up few minutes before I came. It's almost 10 years to this. He still doesn't know I was just pretending that night. When I was in 4th grade, I smashed that special clay thing the teacher was baking. He got very mad and had everybody stay until someone came forward. Nobody did for 15 minutes. It was me dot dot. This is the first time telling my dirty little secret. I have a serious skin picking problem. I can just sit for hours straight in front of a mirror and inspect every pore on my face chest hands. It's gotten so bad that I have little scars all over my face. But I literally can't stop doing it.